morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Monday. Loved ones holding a candlelit vigil to remember a 15-year-old boy who was shot and killed in Florida City. Police say Demarion Bailey was killed by someone he knew Saturday morning on Northwest 13th Street and 5th Avenue. Officers arrested 18-year-old Jaron Smith, who is now facing second-degree murder charges. Police say the teens were sitting outside of an apartment together. Smith reportedly saw a pair of boys riding bikes together. He allegedly shot toward them, but struck Bailey in the head, killing him. Smith reportedly confessed to the homicide. A one and a half year old child rushed to the hospital in critical condition after almost drowning and Coral Springs Fire Rescue responding to the scene near Northwest 98th Way Sunday evening. That's where they say they found Good Samaritans giving that baby CPR after pulling the small child out of a body of water. The child remains at Broward Health Coral Springs. We are working to get an update on that baby's condition. We'll bring you the very latest information on air and online at local10.com. Four Miami-Dade officers officially surrendering after being indicted by a grand jury four and a half years after a chase that killed four people. The officers were indicted for manslaughter with a firearm after the December 2019 incident. It started with two people robbing a jewelry store. The suspects hijacked a UPS truck and took 27-year-old Frank Ordonez hostage before leading police on a cross-county chase that ended with almost two dozen officers firing their weapons. The two suspects, a UPS driver they held hostage, and a 70-year-old man who was in traffic all died. Those four officers could face up to 30 years in prison. At Aventura, condo community vandalized with hateful messages. Local 10 viewers sending messages of the racist message. We have blurred it. It was spray painted across various areas of the Biscayne Cove community on Northeast 31st Court. The message is left on cars, on the ground, even along the water's edge. Aventura police say investigators are currently processing and securing evidence. They are searching for the suspects responsible. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online at local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.